Rishi Kapoor has an appetite for all manner of things for lunch for which he was joining us and for his newfound hobby Twitter which indirectly has led to this lunch too It went like this the actor has created a storm on social media from the day he joined for his humor seen in his bio and in sundry tweets As a food reviewer myself I was naturally concerned and then there was this Now I have been looking for an excuse to visit the Bombay Canteen Chef Floyd Cardoz's first restaurant in India a place that has been the talk of the town from the minute it opened its doors with its cheerful clever smart interiors and its cheerful clever inspired food so I thought I'd get me in and check out the competition at the same time First of all I want to say thank you I am so thrilled that you have decided to join us for lunch sure. but I'm also a little nervous and the reason I'm nervous is about a particular tweet you had posted a short while ago you had said forget films <laughs> forget anything film a food reviewing is the career path to embrace you'd be fantastic at it this is the scary Arey, thing <laughs> yeah. I love the food and I just reviewed it and then when I asked for the check it there's no check so I said why is it no sir you reviewed it So I just made it as a joke. It's better than acting here. If you even get to eat free food, what the hell? <laughs> no argument for me. All right. So now this is a place that you like, right? Well, I've been here once, and yeah. I I truly liked it. All right. So I think there's a piece waiting for us. Have you have you bought a big appetite? Can't you see? Let <laughs> me bring it along. <laughs> So in we go there's a table waiting and we're both hungry but then he spots something that looks a little familiar so That's my name man <laughs> Chintu's for Chintu This could work out well though perhaps not for everyone as Yash one of the partners joins us Good to see you again Now we're doing a review of your food Well you call it Chintu's I mean what they do you take it from my name Right then <laughs> Is it royalty for the name? Royalty for the name of for the rest of your life. <laughs> It's a good one. So now you have this wonderful tradition in your family, right? Of these amazing meals we keep hearing about. Generations of food lovers. The Kapoor's have been uh, great foodies. Yes. And my mother is a great hostess. My father was a very big, big filmmaker. Yeah. So my mother and father always had a tiff. My mother used to say, "You don't interfere in my business because I don't interfere in yours." And I went to either way. So my mother used to look after the house and the kind of food everybody used to like. So I guess uh, you know when you're a good hostess, you tend to overdo things and you want to. And genuinely, खाने के बहुत शौकीन हैं, खिलाने के बहुत शौकीन हैं. You know, it's that's a great combination. I agree. People who like to feed and, and like who like to eat. So. Um, I guess that's where it came from. That's been the case even in my uncle's yeah. houses, yeah. Shami Kapoor, yeah. and then of course Shashi Kapoor, which had a great influence of um, you know um, uh, Western food. Right. We used to have our Christmas yeah. lunches, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. And it felt a bit like Christmas as out came the chintus. Can you imagine? <laughs> There are these dishes called chintus, and that's not here. Be- I'm not here because of this. It's called chintus. <laughs> Come on, man. Anything, even right. any dabus and chimpus here as well. Not so far, though there were. These are like oh, lotus, roots. lotus roots. Oh wow, I like lotus fine. roots. The kamal kakri chips, wafer thin and utterly delicious. The pickled vegetables, which apparently I will keep to myself. And that's the pickled vegetables. No, not for me. Masala cheese straws and desi styled deviled eggs. Very nice. Wafer thin. Unusual. What I liked about this place is, you know, first of all, I love this, the flooring. It's got no carpets. It's got the yeah, tiles. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me of my, my childhood in yeah. Matunga. Huh. Then there used to be a Kolar, right. uh, Irani restaurant in Matunga, huh. on uh, King Circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to have the ban masala and chai right. and all that. So it, I used to love their uh, ambiance. Naan khatai used to be one of the. Well, they do some naan khatai here. Also. So you know, it reminds me of all that. And one sec. What do you got? We have kejriwal. Start off with some really. I want to ask you this. <laughs> you have a Kejriwal. Why do you call it Kejriwal? So Kejriwal, it comes from a story from the Wellington Club. Oh, it's a, it's not the thing to do with Mr. Kejriwal. No, <laughs> not not not. I, I was going to ask if you have a Yogendra Yadav or a Prashant Bhushan. Oh, why not Shreya Dixit? She was the ex CM. We were also introduced to the Arbi Tok, a modern spin on a Sindhi classic. We do the Papa the same thing. Huh. This kind of relish on it. Yeah. When we have a drink, ah, at home, wherever, yeah, but it's pretty interesting. Yeah, 
Are we the good alternative to I mean Papad? Healthy, good for us. And then, well, it was back to the kajri wild soft serve eggs on a buttery brioche with cheese and a gorgeous green chili chutney. It's a hit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is real good stuff. This kajri wild stuff is very good. Foodies you know, are the happiest people. Aren't they? Yeah. I agree entirely. I relish vegetarian food as well. I I always insisted in my children were growing huh. to you know move the greens. Yeah. And I used to know my daughter used to make fuss, but she did so. And Ranbir was the only silent crier. He used to just keep crying without saying anything. His mother used to always fight with him. Why do you? I said, greens are good for him. If he cries, what can I do? Greens are very important, very good, yeah. especially you know for the weather we have, the kind of climate we live in India. It's not really very uh, becoming, but you know whatever. But, but when you're hungry, you're hungry, right? Yeah, when you're hungry, you're hungry. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind having this one. You want to have this? Finish, 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 finish. And beer and rhythm are also like as 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 into food. Ranbir is a great food. Not my daughter. No. Oh, oh Ranbir is a greater foodie than me. I mean, he he is. He actually lives to eat. Wherever he may be, huh. you know, we have certain designated places in certain towns huh. where we have. Like I, I recommend in Chandigarh, there's a Pals Dhaba. Oh, superb! You know, if I, I would love to review that food as well. So I got your leaves. Did you get it? Napkins, yes. Serviettes, because when you eat enthusiastically, you know it's best to be prepared. Okay, this is because you know I'm a messy eater, so it doesn't fall over my shirt. You know, now I'm you know I'm more confident of eating food and not messing my shirt. So, which are some of your other favorite places to eat? Like you know, over the year, New York restaurant is such a business. You know, well, I'm doing all over the world. Restaurants evolve, especially when you say about New York. Yeah. There's a period of time when a restaurant is very popular. Yeah. And then it and suddenly it loses its charm. Suddenly people don't go there anymore. I don't think that's the case very much in India. We have some consistency in our restaurants. Like you know, I like the uh, Bukhara. I like the. They're very consistent with their foods and their dal's as well. We used to send the dal to Ranbir to New York. What is this? Okay. So this we have the methi theplas and we've done a pork, pulled pork vindalu. You serious? Yes. Pulled pork. What, tell me, what's the difference between let's say a pork and pulled pork? Just you slow cook the pork so that the meat falls off the bone, and uh, then you just pull the meat off. Oh wow, that's why it's called pulled pork from the bone. To give it a little bit of texture, we've added some potato saldi on top of it. Oh, that's potato saldi. Yeah. Okay. What uh, is this? These are our kalamari. So uh, we. Do I, kal- I must have one of these. <laughs> I've, I've been hearing about this. I didn't have that last time. Kalamari. So we've marinated them with Kashmiri chilli, a little bit of pepper, and then directly. See, that's what is different about them. You take a sea, you know, seafood calamari on Kashmir chilli. Yeah. You know the marriage of these two is great. Yeah. Somebody must have been innovative to you know think yeah. about this. But there must be a lot of oil. No? Yeah. That's one thing I I've been bad about. But today is like a review food, so it's okay. <laughs> Cheers. The calories don't count. This is truly blissful. Would you call this fusion Indian fusion food? Indian fusion, yeah. Gujarati pepla yeah, with goan, yeah. uh, you know, calamari, coastal yeah. with Kashmiri mirchi. Yeah, yeah. It is actually. It's very. That's, you know, again. that's great. You know, I always wonder mm-hmm. when you walk into a very high fi restaurant, Mughal Indian restaurant, why are uh, the dishes named so? You know. Um, dramatically, you know, Murge Bahar, Lalalala, he, you know, Vatle Shahi, Malavari, Dambar, or some, you know, why? I mean, those simple dishes, you know, just spells out what you would eat. I agree entirely. You know, Dale Shaheen. And it's always disappointing after that, no? Well, but you know, sometimes people will be very gratified, you know, that they had had, you know, this Murge Bahar, Talbai, you know, some very exotic Mughalai name. I like the word canteen also. Yeah. It, it, it's charm. very interesting you know, for a man who's working. Yeah. Perhaps for the kids who come yeah, here, yeah. you can see the crowd. They're all loving their food. They're not bothered be eating here. Yeah. That's one thing beautiful. Yeah. And perhaps one of the reasons is they're equally consumed with the eats and the surprises that keep coming. Next up for us, a Sikh kebab with a difference. It was like more Indian fusion food. Yes. No. And it's also very simple food at the end of it. Like it's it's ingredients that all of us have grown up with. Like the. What about the caloric count? 
Huh? Very simple is a nice way of putting it. Very simple. Intrinsic part of Indian food is the calorie. I can see deep fried. No, no, no. These are from the tandoor, so these are nicely roasted from the outside. Roasted, big. Okay, no, okay. Roasted pumpkin and paneer kebabs, and they're great. Who knew? It was some incredible food, man. You're missing something if you haven't tried the food here. I'm not exactly a vegetarian, but you know. I'm sorry, I'd be flashing back to and be crying when you cost him to eat his vegetables. You're not protesting. He was in Japan, Tokyo. Yeah. He messaged me. Yeah. I'm having a Kobe steak, oh. A grade. Yeah. I said, move the greens. As we do too, it turns out, but not just greens. More food. Yes, more food. Their bara pav with their sweet, sticky, spicy tandoori pork. It's terrific. And then, well, one other thing, already a favorite. This is to die for. This is called kima beja gotala. You know, gotala means it's not a scam. Gotala, I think, is it's a scam. This is not a scam. This is reality, and this is good stuff. Oh, I haven't even tried it myself. So again, this is just a regular what you'd find on the street. A great kima with beja and a soft cooked yeah. egg in it, and it goes beautifully with that good old masala pav. Wow. Yeah, and you, you don't need any other food, It's a street food, hygienic, hy with hygiene involved. You know. It is so it's mixed as it should be, and it's marvelous. They all call spare parts. <laughs> you know, in our language, offals, beja or um, kaleji. Kaleji. I'm not particularly fond of that. I like gorda kapura very much. Uh, my cook makes it very well. Then I'm going to shamelessly invite myself over to pick up no, a little please, leftover please. dabba. Of course, my co-star, first co-star, Dimple, her masi. This will make the best bori khichda I've ever had. Really? Oh boy! Do you do the whole Muhammad Ali road thing ever? Yeah, yeah, so often. Yeah, so often. Especially during Ramzan. Yeah. Earlier we used to do very often, you know, when I was not married. So you know, shooting ki, baas hai, yar dosto ke saath nikal pade. And those days, truly, the people who wanted to eat in Khao Gali or yeah. Muhammad Ali road, yeah, yeah. wherever, they used to be there. Yeah. Today, it's become more of a fashion also. And it's a circus. People, yeah. Yeah. Aap log kab khaoge, yar? I always wonder what cameramen do here. When you you know, you have a let's say a, a food show. I know it's terrible. And when you have a porn show, <laughs> you can't indulge. They are on job. <laughs> Is that going to go on Twitter? I have not seen a feed more fun and more fresh. I'm just these wonderful opinions. Like first of all, it's so refreshing to see someone from the film industry with. Opinions who's ready and comfortable articulating them. You know, I want grouse. Huh. At the end of it, there are very few people who have the sense of humor. Certain tweets are right; they take it in the literal sense, and I said, "Oh my God!" And then individually, you cannot correct, yeah. correct them. You cannot answer them. Yeah. You cannot even abuse them. Yeah. How much I want to bloody break my bloody damn phone off them! <laughs> ah, through my head. <laughs>